Hey everybody, how you doing little Kerbonauts? Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, Redneck Einstein. By the way, t-shirts will soon be available at the Rheinstein Merchandise Store. I will uh, update you with links and everything when I've got them. Um, for today's episode, we are going to be transmitting or recovering scientific data from space around Kerbin. So I've built my rocket here. Granted, you might look at it at first glance and think, yeah, that's not gonna do a very good gravity turn. And you would be right. The, I guess the issue I have is the number of parts I can um, assemble my rocket out of. It's only 30. So ideally what I would use on the side instead of these solid fuel boosters is liquid fuel engines. But by um, having enough fuel and then a liquid fuel engine underneath, uh, it would go over the 30 parts. And I didn't want to spend any of my precious Kerbal monetary stuff to on them. Um, upgrading that so we're gonna have to do a kind of fudge uh, but we can do it we can definitely get into orbit of Kerbin and we can definitely get a whole load of science so that's kind of cool you can see how fast we're going already this thing is quite frankly ridiculous now what I'm gonna do here is start quite a steep turn if I can oh no we've lost control of our rocket okay we can recover this don't worry just engage my engines again, just a little bit to regain some control, and there we go. So, I should have tilted a little bit um, slower, but never mind. In real time, this is uh, really quite difficult. Okay, now all I'm going to do is continue to burn as sideways as much as I can. If I press M, take a look at my apoapsis now. It's actually going really, really high. Uh, 73,000 meters, which isn't, you know, unreasonable, but uh, it's definitely higher than I would really want to get look at because that it you know as I keep burning I'm trying to burn sideways but it's still got some vertical velocity so it's you know it's it's increasing my apoapsis but what I'm gonna do is accelerate to actually no if I cut my engine now I'm now gonna create a maneuver node at the apoapsis and try and circularize this orbit now the cool thing about doing this is I can fly over several biomes and get you know a fair bit of science from it so let's just f fuss around with that a little bit increase our trajectory there we go that looks quite nice so we've got one minute 25 second burn to do just gonna fast forward a little bit here and start burning there now you can see we need a chain need to change our delta V by about 1500 meters per second not totally confident we have got the resources to do this, but we will see. Now, here we go. Take a look at my little X science thing while we're doing our burn. I can do an EVA report while I'm here. I'm, I'm going to try and do an EVA. Hopefully, Jeb and I won't take off. There we go. All right. Hold on, Jeb. Hold on. And he's got eight science. All right. Let's try and get back in. Oh, he's for science, mate. This guy's a boss. Jesus Christ. All right, what else can we do? Temperature scan. And my little temperature probe is around there. So that's another eight science. Material study while in space near Kerbin. So we can get that too. And I'll tell you what, if I do observe a mystery goo, and then if I beam that back, wait a second. Now, if I wait till I'm in full orbit, then, um, then I'll beam it back. And then that should complete that contract there we go we're now circularizing our orbit 70,000 is our periapsis 115,000 is our apoapsis so good we're in a safe spot where we can now worry about doing our science yay Jeb you're the man let's just marvel at the uh, the beauty of space as we cruise around it be absolutely beautiful all right yeah so what I wanted to do was not waste any of my pressure science. I'm going to recover that back down on the surface. Now, if I transmit this, even though it's not actually going to give me much information, transmit or recover scientific data from space around Kerbin is now complete. Sweet. So now, I think if I just fly around the planet a bit, maybe... Ah, uh, there we go. We passed over a biome there. We could have got some science from it. Never mind. EVA report while in space near Kerbin Shores. So what I'm going to do now is review my stored data, beam that back, and EVA Jebediah again. Here we go. EVA report. It's another eight uh, data. 
Because I'm going to let him let him do a little bit of a spacewalk here. Because he's the man. Look at him. Let's watch him flying away from his rocket. Oh, God. He's like, oh, no. I'm never going to make it back. Take me back to safety. Don't worry, Jeb. We got you, bro. We got you. There we go. Gra oh, no. He tried to grab on. He's lost control. Jeb and I are... Come on, Jeb. You got this. Let's get you back in. Grab and board. Yay, we're safe. All right, now where are we on our trajectory? Let's take a little look here. Oh, there was another one there I just missed. Aha, EVA report while in space near Kerbin's grasslands. Sweet, we definitely need all this science, so let's do this as quick as we can. Review that, beam that back. Out you come again, Jebediah. Now, he, I like to think that he's just looking down Looking down at the planet and marvelling at its majesty. Now, how much electricity have we got left? 294. Good, good. So, I've got four batteries on this rocket. So, we can review the stored data, send that back. And, let's see if we pass over any more biomes. Grassland is being sent back. And, oh, we missed another one there. Now... Ah, there we go. One in space near Kerbin's grassland. So we haven't done that one. All right, let's EVA again. You don't want to lose these opportunities to get all this science because early game is really difficult to get enough science to uh, propel your space program forward. Let's beam that back um, and continue round. Now, when I get further around here, I'm going to start thinking about lowering my periapsis in order to land. Alright, I, I might do it from the periapsis, I think, actually. I'm going to set a maneuver node there. And that looks good to me. Okay, so now we just want to maneuver our rocket. I don't think I'm going to be able to get too much more science because it will use up all my electricity and my rocket maybe may become unstable. Although I don't know if the actual pilot can control it when there's no electricity. I imagine they can. Okay, here we go. We're nearly at the point where we're going to do our burn. And Jebediah is quite frankly a legend in the making. I'm at, can you imagine the awards that are going to come this guy's way? Wow. Alright, now let's watch ourselves fly over the surface. Look at that. That's quite beautiful. EVA report while in space over Kerbin's Mountains. Nice. Alright, let's uh, do another EVA report. That's another 8 science. I'm not adding this up. Is anyone adding this up? That is a load of science we're getting. I'm going to keep that one, I think. Or how much electricity have we got, actually? Let's see. Oh, we've still got 222. I'm going to beam that back, just in case the opportunity arises to get any more. And we will continue to plummet. Now I'm going to need to probably decouple. Now, I have got a heat shield. That's got 40 ablator in it now. That saves a lot on the uh, Delta V. Ah, now the rocket's uncontrollable. Jebediah, I thought you'd be able to control this. Uh-oh. Please don't tell me this was all for naught. Please don't tell me. I'm guessing we're out of electricity yet. Yeah. Rocket is unresponsive. unresponsive. Please don't spin out of control. No, Jebediah, control it, you beast. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we're going to have to keep our fingers crossed and see what happens here. Come on, point. Point downwards when we go through the heat. Please. I'm holding my breath. <gasps> Please do it. Don't go parachute first. Whatever you do, don't go parachute first. <laughs> if, that, if that happens, Jeb's screwed, I reckon. He's going to run out. He's just going to run out of any safety mechanism. Look, you can see some heating starting to work now. Uh-oh. Should we take a little look inside and see how, he's, see how he is? Oh, he's okay. He's like, damn it, we're heating up, Captain. I don't think we're going to survive re-entry. Jeb. Oh, God. This is so tense. Look at it heating up. Please decelerate quicker. No, something blew up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, the science module's been lost. What a failure. Well, we live and learn. What that teaches me is that I need batteries on the side of this, I guess. Slight uh, rocket restructuring at the top. But, altogether, we've actually got a fair bit of science, so I guess I'm happy in that respect. But uh, all other science things have just uh, blown up. Now, let me just slow the game down, because we can do a crew... Oh, we just missed a crew report. Damn it. 
Oh, that sucks. We're actually heading really close to where home is. Awesome! Open a parachute! And landing should be no problem. Well, that was a bit of a disappointment, wasn't it? Nonetheless, like I said, plenty of science gathered from Jeb's EVA adventures. We'll have to uh, attempt to redo this. Maybe I won't do it for the camera, but uh, we can definitely redo it just by adding some batteries and uh, get that valuable science data. There we are, and we've landed safely. Good job, Jebediah. Now, let's recover our vessel and see what actual number of science we managed to get. Well, we're now up to 111 science, so that is damn good. That must be from everything he beamed back. So if we now head into the R&D development area, and I might invest... Let's see what we can invest in. I do like these, these um, really small propulsion systems. I find they they give you a lot of bang for your buck in terms of Delta V. Or we could go the airplane route where we've got some parts we can use for a plane. Landing, I don't think we need landing yet. Advice, advanced flight control. Now if I did that, no, I'm not even gonna do that. Space exploration, that's what we need because then I can take the hitchhiker storage container if I need to. Don't, probably don't have the fuel or the engines for that yet, but it does open up the press map barometer, which will increase the amount of science we can do again. Yes, we're definitely going to research that. Sweet! All right. Thank you for watching, guys. That is the end of the episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you learned something, maybe not to make the mistakes I do. Um, and please leave a thumbs up if you did. Uh, also, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Take care, guys. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch my video. Bye-bye.